Hi, welcome to the Black Bass Plus Sew Along. This is the video for Black One. I'm Jenny and I'll be your host for this sew along and I'm so glad you're joining me. This video will cover the same steps that are in the written blog post lesson. So you can follow the written lesson or you can watch the video, either one works. So let's get started. Open up your Black Bass Plus software and I'll do the same and I'm gonna switch it so you can see my screen. Okay, this is the BlockBase Plus software. And when you first open BlockBase Plus, you'll see this getting started screen, which is a helpful little tour of the software. So when you have time, you can read through these little slides. For now, I'm gonna close it. And let's talk about the BlockBase screen. Um, over here on the left, we have the navigation panel. And this is where all the block categories and subcategories are. At the top of the panel, you'll see the navigation buttons. Over here in the middle, where you see all the pretty blocks, is called the block viewer. Right below the block viewer, we have the block toolbar. And this is where we do the fun stuff like print and export. Right below the block toolbar is the note card panel. And this is where you can find out all the information about the selected block. Over here on the left, Let's uh, practice navigating through some of these subcategories. So by default, the 10 unequal nine patch small center category is selected. And that is a bit of a mouthful. So right now the first subcategory is selected, which is the 0125 squares. So click on a couple of those other subcategories to look at the blocks in those. Now, if there are more blocks in this subcategory than are visible in the viewer, there is a scroll bar over here on the right where you can drag it and see the rest of the blocks in this subcategory. And um, the block that we're going to use today is in the 084 patch category. So come up here and find 084 patch. If you have a really small screen and can only see a handful of the subcategories, the scroll bar for the navigation panel is right here. So look for 084 patch. And notice right here that this little arrow is pointing to the side. When I click on it, it'll point down and expand down and show me all the subcategories of this particular category. So the block we're looking for is in 10 with pinwheels. So click on that. Over here in the block viewer, you'll see all these gorgeous different pinwheel blocks. And the Brackman ID number is listed down here in the note card panel. We're looking for block 1273. So as you click on the different blocks, you'll see how that number changes. I know that we're looking for this red and white pinwheel block here, so I'm going to click on it. If you can't see this one in your viewer right now, remember that you have a scroll bar over here on the right. So it may be out of your current view, but you can use that scroll bar to find the block. Once you click on it, look down here in the note card panel and you'll see the Brackman ID number. And you'll find some other information about the block too, like the default block size, category, subcategory, and the characteristics of these blocks. To see those characteristics, you'll need to use the scroll bar for the note card panel, which is over here on the right. So if I drag this down, I can read all the characteristics of the blocks that are in this category. I'm going to scroll back up now, and here in the middle of the note card panel, you'll see the different published names for this block. And this one's been published under quite a few names. When you click on a name, you'll see the reference information change over here on the right. And again, to read all that information, you can use the scroll bar over here to see it. For this first block in the sew along, we're going to walk through printing the rotary cutting chart for the block. So here in the block toolbar, click the print button and then click on rotary cutting chart from the menu. Here in the print window is where you can make all the decisions about your printout. Up here at the top, you'll see finished block size. Now this is the size of the block after all of the seams have been sewn. So when you're looking at this block in the finished quilt, it's gonna measure six inches. The seam allowance comes in down here and will be included in the dimensions on the printout. Now I'm going to be making all of the sew along blocks at the default size for the block. 
That doesn't mean that you have to make it at that size. That's the beauty of Block Base Plus is that you can choose to print the blocks at any size that you like. So I'm going to leave this here set here at 6 for width and height. But if you want to change that size, you can choose custom block size here and then highlight one of the numbers and type in a different size. I'm going to switch it back to default block size though for mine here. Now, by default, the seam allowance is set to the standard quarter inch that most quilters use. If you want it to be a different seam allowance, you can type in a different number here. Under rounding measurements, it's set to the nearest eighth of an inch. Because I'm using the default block size, and I know that the size of my block plays well with the grid structure of my block, I'm not too concerned about rounding. If you are using a custom block size and aren't quite sure if that plays well with the structure of the block, I would suggest uh, taking a look at our support site um, and search for rounding and that will give you some more information about how rounding affects the cutting of your blocks and rotary cutting. Now this first time we're just going to leave all of these settings the same. So come down here and click the preview button and here is a preview of what our rotary cutting chart will look like. To get a closer look at the chart, let's click the zoom in button up here a few times. Over here, you'll see what we call the key block. And so that has each of the patches um, assigned with a letter and those letters will show up down here in the cutting diagrams as well. So the way you read these cutting diagrams, for patch A, and let me zoom in just a little bit closer, make sure you guys can see this well on your screens. For patch A, this cutting chart says, cut a strip of fabric one and seven eighths inch, inch wide, then from that strip, cut a one and seven eighths inch square, then take that square and cut it diagonally to yield two triangles. For this size patch, for patch A, you'll need 12 white triangles and 8 red triangles. Now, um, in the blog post, I describe these cutting diagrams a little bit closer, so I won't go through each of these different cutting diagrams, but if you want to read how, how to interpret those diagrams, take a look at the blog post. Now let's uh, close this preview and make a few changes in that print window and see how that changes our block. Okay, back here in the print window, under Calculate 4, change it to Detailed View, and then also next to Number of Blocks, change the number to 9. And then click Preview again and now we'll zoom in one more time and take a closer look at this chart. Up here at the top, you'll see it now says calculations for nine blocks. The cutting diagrams look the same, but now over here you'll see there's more information included with each cutting diagram. Now we'll see an estimated width of strips width of fabric strips needed. So for um, the white fabric here, we'll need three fabric width of fabric strips. And now we also need 108 patches of this white. It's because we're calculating for all nine blocks at once. So you'll need 108 of those white triangles to make nine of these blocks. So click close again. And back here in the print window, Let's change it back to calculating for one block because we're just making one for the sew along here. And if you want to change it back to summary view, you can. Uh, that's up to you. I'm going to change mine back to summary view and click preview. And now if you are ready, if all looks right here on the preview, click the print button if you're ready to print. I'm not going to print right now. I'm going to just click the close button and then close one more time here in the print window. And I have just one more little task for us to do before we start sewing. 
with this block 1273 still selected down here in the block toolbar click add to favorites and you'll see it's got a little heart here in the corner now during the course of this sew along we're going to add each of our blocks to the favorites so that way if later you want to come back and print it again or you want to try printing a different kind of pattern for this block it'll be easier to find it the way you find your favorites is up here at the top of the navigation panel. Click the favorites button. And when I click that, you'll see here our block 1273 is added to the favorites view. So even if you close block base plus and then reopen it, if you click the favorites, you'll still see this block here. So if you are ready to start sewing and you've printed your pattern, you can go ahead and click the close button here or click file quit block base so that's our first block for this sew along come back to the blog on friday april 9th and share a picture of your block have fun